guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of the Arsenio ZSL Podcast, man. So grateful to be back today and today. Oh, yes, we are going to be talking about specificity and buzzwords. These two are very, very, very important people. And the main reason is if you want to go from four to five in your academic writing and have a very high academic writing score, you're going to have to figure out exactly what you can do in terms of integrating what the professor says in terms of the big words and using words that actually correlate around those big words. So for example, in this one, you're gonna hear him say communication and leadership. So I have to use different words that relate to those two. And to be honest with you, these could be buzzwords. Buzzwords are words that actually stand out. And when you start using these, you're going to see a huge difference in your writing in regards to the academic writing because that's exactly what we are trying to incorporate. If you just mention one word and then a couple of words from the students and then you just recreate a lot of things, highly doubt you're going to get anything very good, right? You're going to have to use words that relate to the words that they say. This is the biggest piece of information of all time. So let's dive in, people. By the students, comma. Now, let's see what this says. Consider the following question. What is more important for being an effective leader of a business? Excellent communication skills or a strong technical background in a particular industry? Yeah, you can have a strong background all you want, but if you are not able to expand on those skills and you do not have, uh, what is it, a boss that allows you to expand on those skills, you ain't going nowhere. So obviously communication skills are everything. So that's why I understand why you went with communication. So let's check this out. The best leaders are the ones who are good communicators. If employees can clearly understand what is expected of them, if there are, uh, their leader can articulate clearly and concisely, et cetera, et cetera, they will be more productive and efficient in their work. Okay, now Kelly says, it doesn't matter how well a company's leader communicates, this is bad. Deep understanding of a business itself, bad. Employees aren't going to be motivated, <coughs> excuse me, motivated by a company president who gives a great speech if it's evident that the president doesn't know what they do in their day-to-day -day work. What the fuck is she even talking about? My God, okay. I have no idea. So I disagree with her. <laughs> and now I understand why you have a communication because Kelly has no fucking clue what she's talking about. So here we go. I definitely agree with Andrew that possessing strong communication skills is essential as a leader and in business. Here we go. So what did I get? I got the communication skills here. <clears throat> I created essential, meaning important. And then I grabbed the word leader right here, effective leader and business. So I'm using some of the content words within here. And remember what I told you, we're going to have to expand on what strong communication skills are a leader and business, but it sounds like a leader, I'm going to have to get an example of a leader who is fantastic and then how he's able to communicate people's roles and effectivity within the company too. The problem is I don't know a very good leader who communicates at the top of my head who owns a business that's very successful. Do you? To be a president. It could be a president, but yeah, but I need to get more specific. See, this is the this is when you kind of go general rather than getting very specific. And this is what ends up may, uh, becoming a problem. Now, I'm going to use an example that I don't agree with. The only person that comes to mind, to be honest with you, is Steve Jobs, although Steve Jobs was the biggest fucking asshole on the planet. Okay. I don't know if you know about that, but he was absolutely a rat to his employees. However, I'm going to have to set aside personal feelings because I only understand his story and how he came back into the company and he saw that Apple was working on so many different products. And he said, whoa, 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 whoa. let's stop working on all the, on, on all of these. Let's just focus on this, 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 and this. And then boom, Apple just shot up. So this is exactly what I'm going to do. Although I don't believe it, he's very good at communicating. As a person, he sucks. Suck. Okay, but he was great at communicating in terms of what the company needed to focus on. So I got to get specific. 
Okay. I, I told you that specificity is important. So, for example, Steve Jobs, who was the uh, the CEO and founder of Apple. I don't know if he was the founder. I have no idea. Don't give a fuck. The AI tech doesn't know either. Okay. <laughs> so we can add all these really cool buzzwords to make, to build it up, right? Uh, What was it? Uh, took some time off from the company he had built. However, when he came back, he realized that the boss was focusing on too many projects and products, and this was taking away the effectivity of the employees in regards to what their roles were in the company. What so there? Oh, no, I'm going to say not therefore. As a result, he decided to slash many of the projects that the company was working on and communicated to all of the employees that they were going to focus on a few products, okay? And I'm gonna put a colon and make a list. The iPhone, iPad, and uh, I don't know, uh, uh, iMac, uh, there we go. Uh, uh, the, what is it? Uh, and yeah, fuck it. what was that? MacBook. Oh, there we go. And the MacBook. Thus, the company's overall revenue skyrocketed within a half decade and became the most profitable uh, uh, company in the world. Now, therefore, this is why I believe having a leader who knows how to communicate in regards to, damn, I'm writing a whole lot. I can't believe I wrote 163. That's a fucking lot. Oh my God. Okay. Having a leader. And it's so hard because you're like, okay, Arsenio, you wrote 163 motherfucking words. I'll break it down. Give me two seconds. Give me a break it down. Give me two seconds. This is why having a leader who knows how to communicate in regards to the company's vision is very important. I'm just going to hurry up and just put it right there. Now, from right here, we I got two, three minutes to explain this. From right here to about right here, that was a lot. That was a lot. I could have summarized it better by saying, for example, I didn't have to give the whole CEO and founder of Apple, took some time off, the company he had built. However, he came back and this happened and that. I could take all of that out and just talk about from when he was a leader. Does that make sense? So I could have just said, for example, Steve Jobs realized that Apple was working on too many projects at one given moment, and then he decided to communicate with the employees that they are no longer going to focus on multiple projects because it felt like the company was missing the overall vision. When that happened and the companies and employees began focusing on the specific projects that Steve Jobs had in mind, they immediately became a billion dollar company. See, I made it a lot shorter. Yes. Now, the biggest thing that I wanted to focus on here in regards to you, you saw, I used the name, I used the company, I used the before and after as an example. I also used words like communicated. I've already written down communication. I talked about co uh, companies overall revenue, different mo like money terms that relate to how with great leadership, this is the great result. So that's exactly what I wanted to show you. Like, okay, Steve Jobs, he did this, too many products, 10 products, he narrowed it down to three products, end result. This is how having a strong communicator as a leader could ultimately 
shift the company's overall revenue and vision of what they believe is to this. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. I know that was it, that was a lot, but the thing is, my whole thing was about it being buzzwords, and I think I'm probably going to get a four. Oh, see, five. Now, I wrote a lot, okay? I didn't think I was going to get a high. I didn't think I was going to get a five because I wrote too much. But to summarize, your thing is, you write a few sentences and that's totally going to be fine. And you still have the potentiality of getting a five. But what I wanted to communicate to you was, okay, business, leadership, communication. A leader who's focusing on too many products and not communicating what the overall vision of a company is, the company falls flat. However, a leader saying, whoa, we're focusing on too many things right now. We need to focus on these three things and make it as great as possible. Billion dollar, trillion dollar now, today, company. That's kind of the route that I took. So that's why I grabbed Steve Jobs because it was the first thing that came to mind. I was like, okay, well, Steve Jobs, this is the first thing that came to mind. I'm going to hurry up and grab this bad boy and then I'm just going to expand on it. Although he sucked as a human, he was this. Okay, does that make sense? So look at specific words within the professor's opinion or the professor's question and the student's opinion that you can grab like business communication and say, okay, who's a leader that I can give an example of that has a company? Well, first one that comes to mind is this person. Okay. So what was the before and after? Now, again, before the leader, you didn't have to write everything that I had written down, but you could still say he had a vision for getting th these two done. And he communicated it effectively across the hundreds of thousands of employees that the company had. The end result of this was that. You see what I mean? Henry Ford was another person at the beginning of the 1900s, right? He was a person who said, okay, I have a vision to create these types of cars. I'm broke right now, but I still have a vision and I'm going to create a trillion dollar company. And over the last hundred years, boom. That's exactly what Ford is, although Ford sucks. But you understand, at the beginning, everybody signed up because he communicated what? The, uh, the vision of what he wanted vehicles to be in the future or blah, 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 blah. I'm just trying to make it specific and use words, buzzwords is what I call them. Right. Buzzwords that relate to it. Okay, money. Okay, industry. Okay, revenue, okay, impact, money. These are the buzzwords that relate to the professor's question and the student's answers. Do that, you're going to get this vibe. Does that make sense? Yes. Boom. Let's see if I can get at least one five this week. I think you can, because if we start focusing on these buzzwords, I think it's going to be huge for you. Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in to another RCD SESL podcast. That is the end. If you guys have any questions, if you guys want that template, again, I wrote a hell of a lot. I do not advise you to do that, okay? But I did give my students some recommendations in terms of how she could have alleviated that. And by being more specific, rather than speaking in generality, if a leader does this, he could do this, and then this, and then that. No, no, no. Give me something very specific. If you want to get a five, you got to go specific. It's not about word count, it's about specificity. And it's about words that revolve around the topic at hand. So with that being said, follow me on IG, the Arsenio ZSL podcast, and I'll see you guys again soon, over and out.